Hello and welcome to another video and today we'll learn how to do this shape morph animation along with the bounce animation you see on the screen. So without wasting any other time, let's get started. So let's start by creating a new composition. We'll go with 1920 into 1080p 24 frames a second and for 5 seconds the duration of the composition, we'll press ok. Here's the new composition. So first of all we need to do the shape morph animation for that we will need two shape layers one a square and circle because that's what we're working with over here you can use any shapes to morph into each other but we'll use square and circle for this tutorial so let's create the square first we just go ahead and press and hold shift on the keyboard and drag to create a square and create a square like this center align it deselect this layer make sure you deselect this layer then go ahead and create a circle yep so as you can see we have a circle and a square just to avoid confusion we'll name the layers properly this is circle and this is square now we'll have to do the morph animation so to do that, we need to convert the paths into Bezier paths. So open up this ellipse one and rectangle one. You'll see ellipse path one and rectangle path one. Just right click on this and click on convert to Bezier path. Do this for both the path options. And now you'll see both the names have changed to path one. That's what you want. Now just go ahead and open up this as well. We will now keyframe the path positions. So we'll start with one keyframe at the start of the timeline, another one at one second, right? For the one second one, just click here. You'll see a keyframe has been created in the circle layer. Just copy this and uh, paste it on the square layer. Now you'll see it has become a circle, but it kind of moves while morphing, but we'll fix that in a bit. We'll change it back again to a square at maybe two seconds so just again copy this square path keyframe again paste this so it again comes back and becomes a square so we do not need the circle layer anymore we'll just delete it and we see that this is moving we do not want this to move so what we need to fix is basically keyframe the anchor points to the center at every stage so first we'll see the keyframe anchor point is at the center the second keyframe the anchor point moves here so we need to keyframe it, go to the first one and the second one and then keyframe it to the center of the circle and then again copy this and paste it on the last keyframe because these are the same, right? Now you see it does not move anymore, right? So this is what you want. This is very slow, but I think this works. Now we'll just easy ease them you can do that by selecting all the keyframes and pressing f9 on a keyboard now you see the, this is easy eased it's a lot smoother now now we'll work on the jump animation and how to make it rotate right so we'll also add the rotate keyframe over here as well so in this same layer you go to rotation in the first keyframe in in the first keyframe and make it at zero go to the last keyframe we have made and maybe put the rotation to 220 degrees and we'll also ease this now see it rotates it rotates back this also looks great doesn't it i will just center align it looks great now we need to fix the keyframes a little bit make it a little smoother in terms of an organic motion so i'll show you how to do that we will do that before jumping into the bounce animation so that it's easier for us we'll we may like you know adjust it a little bit after that but we'll set it up right now so you need to select both of these anchor points and the path animations together and do whatever easing you're doing on both the layers because they have to be time synchronous otherwise it will move again like it was doing in the first so just select all the keyframes go to the graph editor now just enlarge it i think we will just select this side of the keyframe we'll just select so that everything gets selected and just drag it all the way here right 
and for this side of the motion i think we will select this and drag it not all the way a little bit here and we'll also drag this one a little bit like this so your graph should look like this i think this is what we're going for so now you'll see the motion is way smoother and way organic looking so yes this is what you want now may not make sense to you right now but with the bounce animation combined this will look great i promise so for the bounce animation we'll not use the position keyframes in this layer because that might mess up some anchor points here and there so we'll just create a new null layer so that we do not face any issues with like you know moving positions create a null object we'll say position right and just parent this just drag this pick whip thing onto position so parent it now if we move the position layer this moves right so perfect that's what we want now what we need to do is we we'll just press p on the keyboard keyframe this go to the center keyframe but i think we should have the circle starting this animation and the square in the middle yeah i think that'll look better so let's just change that up i will do that is just move it a little bit here copy this and paste it here paste it here delete this Co select this and again move it here copy this and then replace it here so i think now it should work yeah but i think the keyframing has been lost we'll just again find in the keyframe so i think all the way here this one a little bit like this and for this we need to have it like maybe this it's perfect now now i think it'll look a little better yep so yeah let's continue the position animation we'll in the in the midpoint we'll have it a little above here in the first point we'll have it here perfect let's copy it and again and two seconds back in the same position yes so this is basically what we want but we'll fine-tune it because this jump animation has to look a little organic this cannot look robotic as it is looking right now so what we will do is first of all easy ease and fix the keyframes for these yep these look bad so what we'll do is drag this all the way here and drag this all the way here sorry so drag this all the way here yep now i think it's a lot better but so i think this looks great but what you'll see is it, it, it lands a little suddenly right there's a little bit jerk when it lands you'll see it more when it loops so as you see this the landing can be a little more organic right so what you need to do is basically create another null and we'll animate the anticipation part of it on that null so that it's clear and we, it's easier to adjust later right so we'll create another null object and name it anticipation done now we need also need to move these a little to the right correct we'll have the position keyframe here we'll just parent the position null object to anticipation and now we'll have position here we'll have position keyframe again here and then similarly copy these both and we'll have one so basically the idea is to have this starting position approximately in the middle we'll have it in the middle yeah approximately in the middle of these two keyframes and here as well the same thing right so what we'll do is drag this a little below before it starts right we'll also copy this information and put it over here done we'll end the keyframe over here and you can see that it works but we also need to fix the easy ease of the keyframe and go to the editor and fix the timings 
So first of all, easy is this, go to the edit. Now what we need to do is just pull this all the way here and pull this one all the way here. Now I think we should have the complete animation. Okay, we need to stretch these to the left. Yep, now it should look great. Yeah, I think for these keyframes, we can have a bit of legroom and just like, you know, maybe make it not so sharp and make it a little smoother. Yes, I think now it will look better. Yes, it's looking great now. We can add some echo to this. So echo is basically an effect here. You can go to effects and presets and search for echo. Just drag it onto the square layer, right? Now we just change the echo operator to composite in the back and you'll see a shape follows the shape we already created. So this makes it look a little more organic, but I think you can reduce the decay to like 0.08. I think yeah, this is pretty much it. I have given you an in-depth tutorial in terms of how to do the shape morph as well as a great bounce animation. So I hope this tutorial has helped you. Let me know if you like these in-depth tutorials or I should like, you know, stick to quick and easy tutorials like I had done previously on my channels. This is an experiment. So let me know in the comments if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Hit the like button if you like this video and see you in the next one. This has been Sajid. Thank you.